Hello all. So today we are going to see how to start a Java system, whether it is running or not, how to check the ports and applications. Now I'm logging into my Azure portal free account. First I need to go to portal.sap.com and then I need to use my password. I'm I see how much I spent so I locked in now so I am getting this symbol means I am logging in so now once I log in I'll get the pop-up from here Generally, I'll get the pop-up because this still it is loading this one. So let me check. I don't have any notifications. Fine. Cost management. Let me go to the cost management here. So now you see the pop-up. 14,152. So this is credit. So almost 1,000 rupees in my currency I have already completed. Okay, let's go back to the home. Virtual machines. Let's start. I have only one virtual system VM. Start, I'm starting it. You can see status here in the notification execution start command on first selected item. So now let me go to this inside this server. This is my IP address. I'll go to putty. And put this one, open it. So when you have built your server, don't forget like your username and password. Otherwise what will happen? You have to be resetting your passwords or you have to be rebuilding your system. I have already showed how to reset the password in the other videos. Okay, see, so see that if server is not available, then you will get this information connection timed out. If server is available, so you will be logging into the system. Because now what happens, my entire my system still it is getting started so click on ok i'll go to the notification see that still it is executing it it's now I say that it's still this application is running succeeded zero failed zero cancel zero let's wait for something so now you see that ex executed completed successfully now if i do come here refresh you see that stop stop is enabled start is graded out i'll go here I'll restart this one. So it is asking me to the provide me the username and password. So let me log in. I'll go for another <clears throat> duplicate session. Now you see here, okay, user the password. Because backend is stuck something for the, some reasons. I'm closing this here. Now how to check. Remember always remember when you install your SAP system for your SAP applications always you have to use SID ADM. SID ADM is the one who is actually having a owner of your SAP application servers. So how to check this? Now we have installed as a TST as a SID. Now I'm going to issue TST ADM. Now I switch to TST ADM. If I want to check which user I'm in, who am I? Right, it's a TST user. Now I need to check what is the status of my SAP, my SAP, um, my SAP um, system. Now what I can do? I'll go to CD Pro. CD Pro is the command to the shortcut. CD Pro is the shortcut to my profiles. So now what I can do, if I use CD Pro, 
it will take me to PWD SAP MNT TST profile so these are the file systems like there are some file system when you install SAP system you will get it now what happened SAP MNT TST profile is a profile is a my profile directory where exactly profiles are nothing but like how to start your SAP system how to manage your SAP system everything you can see in the profile so we will discuss in the next next video that what is a profile here now let's talk about a profile now let's talk about SAP means how to start my SAP system so there are several ways to start SAP so nowadays what happens so we have a command called start SAP when you use start SAP it starts everything everything in the sense including your application including your database but before that since we are using as a Oracle system the data flow will be always remember you have to start ESCS that's your services when it comes to Java it is a SCS and then database and then application servers now we have a one more concept we missed one more concept called listeners listeners will will listen the request whatever the request we are coming from the application and it will send it to the database so we'll discuss a little bit later that one so now we have to start a listener here how to start listener listener is a, a database component now i need to switch to database again i'm coming to the same statement when you install your sap system by default you will be using you will be getting a sid application id and up and database id now i need to switch to database id in my scenario i'm using aura tst and some some people also use oracle is as a user but i am not using oracle as user i am using aura sid so now once I logged into the once I switched to the Aura SID, I have to use a command called LSNRCTL. Listener control, which is shortcut is LSNRCTL status and then less status. So what it is showing, it is saying that no connection, no listener, no connection refuse, nothing. You see that if you get results like this, that means your listener is not working. Now what I have to do, I have to start my listener. How to do that? LSNRCTL space start. So LSNRCTL is a command to start your listener. Now if you see here, this is your listener start date. So that means you have started listener. Now go to LSNRCTL space status. You can see all these details. Now, if you want to check the listener logs, this is the location where we you can check that. Now, go back to the LSNR status. Now, you see that. So, this is this. I am getting it. This is the status. Right? So, you can see start date, when it got started, and up time, how much time, how many minutes, how many seconds, how many hours. Everything you can find it over here. Right, I have started now. And with this Aura SID, you can also start Oracle system. But I don't want to do that currently. I want to only see that with SAP, I want to start that. Let's say I'm exiting from here. I'm starting again and switching back to the SID ADM, which is TST ADM. Now I'm using a command called start SAP. So remember when I when I say start SAP, what will happen first initially it will check whether your database is up or not. If not up, it will start your database. That is what it is doing here. But it is only do when you fire the command called start SAP. There are some other commands which we call as a SAP control commands. Using SAP control commands, if we use SAP control commands, it won't start your a database remember that sometimes what will happen if you are using a higher kernels right higher sap kernels then the start sap it start sap command itself you won't get it in that case you have to start your database manually and then you have to 
start your SAP system manually. So now you see that everything got started. You see, start SAP, my database is not, but it is started automatically, perfectly. Then ASCS, which is um, Central Services, SCS started, and then J00. This is my application, it started. Now I need to check how to check, I need to check whether my application is started or not. There are two ways to check. One is PS hyphen EF grep, PS space hyphen, PS space hyphen PF pipe grep, and then you can use a command called SAP. You see some processes are running. MS means my message server, e me, EN means NQ server, GW means gateway services. This is running. Now, some pro other process also running. So, but I don't know exactly. So, what are these ones? Whether my SAP is running or not, I am not sure. In this case, what we have to do is we have to go to CD Pro as a command. So, you are, you are again going back to the profile directory. Give LSF and LTR. Take this instance profile. I'll talk about profiles. Instance profile, where you can say instance profile is TST. SID and then host name. Now you can say that JSMON PF is equal to instance name. JSMON PF is equal to your profile. Now, once you fire this command, you will be getting a screen like this. So, after getting this, you press P. P means processes. So you see that start apps, starting apps. So you have two processes, server zero, ICM, ICM is already running and starting, server zero, starting apps. What is ICM? Internet communication manager, all your services, what all your requests, which, is, which are coming from your browser or from your internet browser, I can say that. So all the processes will be managed by or it will be processed by your ICM processes. Server zero, which is underline that, so which will process whatever the process, whatever the request we are getting from ICM, it will send it to the server zero. From there, it will be process everything. Now you see that starting apps. Click on P again, so it is running. So now I am seeing that my application is running. Now what I what should I do? I am going back. So I am quitting this by pressing Q. Now I'll do ping. So this is my IP address. Or you can say this is my IP address. This is my server. Now what I can do, I am going to the browser. Here I'm using HTTP is a command. Then I can use this one my app stash something something and 5000 so ports for the java remember that we have two types of ports one is http another one is https if not working so this is not working so what i can do i'll go back to the test window server let me start this one too So meantime, we'll discuss about our ports. Two type of ports. One is HTTP, another one is HTTPS. When I say HTTP, so by default, Java, SAP Java port is five, instance number, double zero. Five, instance number, double zero. If your instance number is zero zero, then you have to use five double zero 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 so five instance number double zero so that's what i have used five double zero double zero and then if you are using https a default port for https sap java default port for https is Five double zero 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 one. 
let me log into the windows server now Phi again i'm repeating http port is Phi. instance number 00, zero. https port in five instance number zero one that's a default one if you want to change your port you can change that is also possible okay let me log into the servers uh, 246 210 initial remote connection is it up Mission is in state is not ready. Let's do refresh. Okay, let's let me try once again to log into my server. So if I get like this, that means I'm not able to sort. I'm on, I'm not able to log in. Yeah, I'm able to log in now. So let me log into that. I'm taking same same URL here. It seems I have logged into the server. For some some reasons I don't know what happening. Okay, let's cancel it. Now I'll go to browser. I am pasting my URL here. Press enter. So now you see, I am getting some information about SAP system. So 5000. So now if I do the same thing before that HTTPS I'm keeping it and then port number instead of 5000 I'm keeping 50001 and say enter. Now what will happen it says that it is not reached it, it is not reached so because I have to enable my HTTP. Uh, HTTPS so that we will see in the next video. Thank you. Please subscribe and If you have any questions any topics to be discussed, please put in the comment and Press the bell button. Thank you